You ready? The question was about how to own your training, how to take responsibility for your own improvement. The thinking that way is already a good start. It's realizing that when you come to class, you're not just, if you want to improve, you're not just going to be fed the technique and then get to just turn your brain off and go home. So you need to come to class having the goal of really focusing on what you're learning, of uh, paying attention to what your instructor's saying, really getting the most out of it. Where I think sometimes people come with just like a poor habit for learning. And I don't know if this comes from maybe they didn't like how they had to learn in school, they didn't like to have to listen to a lecture, they don't really want to learn when they're in that kind of setting. Even though they're paying to show up and come to class, they still come and then they just zone out. Come and pay attention to what your instructor says, practice the technique, don't have this attitude some people get where like if a move doesn't come naturally or you think it's a move you wouldn't be good at for some reason, to just not do it or to drill it but have this attitude of and then get lazy. Just do it like it's gonna be your favorite move of the day and when it comes time to spar, see if you can try to do it. Don't come to class with a million ideas in your brain about what you wanna do, like don't go binge watch YouTube and then come to class so full of things that you can't even see the one thing you're learning in front of you. It's good to like study other things, that is a way to take ownership, but it, you need to stay focused so that you're actually improving on something uh, each time you're on the mat versus just having like a show and tell, the, hey, here's things I've seen on YouTube or using it on white belts when you're a higher level and just kind of tooling them but not seeing if you can get a real sharp technique to get higher. Yeah, I think the other thing is like as your level goes higher, you're gonna have to like, when you focus on something, it's gonna be become more and more specific. Mm -hmm. Because when you're a white belt, for example, there's like so many things you need to work on that working on close card, I'm gonna work my close card today, is an okay goal. As your purple belt, it's like, okay, what specific thing close card are you working on? Mm -hmm. Or another example is like preventing my guard from getting past. As a white belt, it's like, okay, it's like, it's okay if all I'm working on is getting on my side. As a purple belt, it's like, yeah, no, nah, that's not a, a realistic goal anymore. Like, you should be working on something more advanced, like, more specific. And I like, even go back, and like, why am I getting past all the time? Where are my grips? What am I doing wrong? Like, my guard's getting past so much I need to work on. So, really focusing down on what you need to work on, and, like, you know, he's really working on it. Because a lot of people will say, that I really want to work on my armor for mount, and then you see him rolling, like, the narrow mount. So like, are you really working on it? And how how can you structure your training to actually do that? Can you grab a partner and be like, hey, I'm really trying to work on this single mount. Like, you mind doing a few rounds where we start a mount? It's a lot easier when you're like doing something bottom centric. People will like, oh, can I start under side control? Oh, sure. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Or like, sometimes you have to tell them if like you want to work on a side control escape. It's like get a little lazy with your guard pass. Like, you know, if you're getting your guard pass, like, oh, I got pass. Oh, I got rolled over from mount. Honestly, I like doing that more because if you tell people, hey, start side control, they often start like, hey, yeah, they like, gave, you know. gave it to me. But yeah. if you like give them a little bit of a guard and then they pass, they like really want to keep you down. So just come in, be focused, don't have a cluttered mind, look for the thing you can improve in each class and uh, repeat for like you know, the next 30 years of your life.